What's up, everybody? It's Mario Mimic here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, last time, what did we do? I don't know, it's been like a long, it's been a very long day. We beat the, uh, Deacons of the Deep. Let me just check the bonfire, because I honestly don't remember that. Uh. Oh, yeah. We found Ariandel. We're not going to do that until later. Beat the Deacons of the Deep. Uh. Did some, uh, did some NPC stuff. Took care of that. It's, uh, talk. Yeah, no, I have no interest in you. Um, dang it! Thought I could make that jump. Um, <clears throat> so today I honestly have no idea what we're gonna do. I just woke up from a nap because I. I've had a very busy week and then was out all morning playing golf tournament. And I should probably be editing. Most illustrious fine kindling and Okay, we've already heard all that. I don't know. There could be more that I need to find, but let's go talk to this lady back here. Arena. Let's see if we can purchase of miracles. Sure, we'll buy heal. Have a pleasant. Uh, this one. Hmm. Where do those... I probably don't have any uh, attunement slots. That's what it is. Yeah, I need 12 faith. I could put some, uh, some points into faith when I level up, but... I don't know. I want to buy all the light miracles, all the good miracles from our girl, Arena. I'll also give her the tome later. Probably not. I'll probably forget. Um, I guess let's go to the Abyss Watchers. And I guess we'll go into the Catacombs now. Actually, real quick... I'm gonna go back to the place where we met Horus and, uh, fuck, what's that other girl's name? Aaron. I wanna get some side quests, NPC side quest stuff started. I haven't really, uh, <clears throat> stayed blind, because I'm just so interested in this game, right? Um, I've been so interested in learning about, like, you know, what goes into it, what I can do, like, what I wanna do, and all these things that I, like, notice while playing, and then, like, Look up on my own time because I'm a little bored and I don't know. It's just very uh, uh, interesting. I'm I'm just super interested in like possible outcomes. But I got to talk to these people and exhaust their dialogue. He's not very tall. Don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. Oh. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Yeah, I already fucked Beyond that up. The flooded woods lies Baron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. Okay. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. May the flames guide your way too. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Okay, yeah. Let's talk to her. And let's talk to Grunty McGrunterson. Uh, ooh, another thing I was thinking about doing. I think I want to put. 
some of the uh, spiked armor on. Because I think it'd be cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the... Basically, everybody keeps telling me that the... Uh, that the armor does nothing in this game. So... Uh, having, like, armor that looks badass instead of... is super protective is more important. I guess. Is what I... Uh, is what I keep getting out of uh, some of my friends who have played the Souls games or like, you know, mostly just the internet. What's up? See, now they're here. Oh, we spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Henri of Astora. Hi, Henri. I'm well pleased to see you safe. Me too. I'm happy. You're, my sword is stabbing you. Of the deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. Yeah, there's just uh, the, must have left for his true the deacons there. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. I didn't find no doll down there. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithil in the Boreal Valley. Irithil? That's where my sword's from. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep. And so becomes our destination. Aldrich's honest home is Irithil in a pilgrim and so Okay, so that's done. Is uh dude with the pirate hat still up here? Fuck, where'd he go? I want his dang pirate hat. I wanna kill him and take his pirate hat. Huzzah. Gotta get that helmet. Ooh, that's pretty nifty. Ashen one. Uh, let's look at my helmets. What helmets do I have? Dark mask. Ferris's hat. Fallen knight helm. How do I look? I look kind of badass. All right, we'll go to we'll go to now. We'll go to uh, the Abyss Watchers and uh, head into the Catacombs of Carthus. About to be the Catacombs of Cucking, realistically, because I'm not excited for this part. Plus, I think this is an invasion area, so. I'm gonna have to die and become unembered. I'm also gonna get my hollowing healed. Uh, so I got like I had a fuckstick Yolo of Londor, Yolo of Londor, whatever the hell his name is. But you know he seems like kind of the bad guy. Ooh, somebody I could duel somebody. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. Is this an NPC? Perseus the Mad? No. Okay, so he's gonna reanimate here, because his eyes were still lit up. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? You guys all saw that, right? It just like. It, like, kind of respawned and then just died. Come on, little Skelebro. Come out here. So I am working on a list of uh, how many times I die to each boss. Ow. Fuck. Ah, uh, he's... I got his ass with the bleed. Oh, he's not dead yet? Now he is. 
Uh, I started working on it, got through everything up to the... Well, it's not exactly everything up to, because uh, I started it just after I um, beat the Deacons. So, like, I knew how, that, how many times I died to them. And the Crystal Sage, I knew I beat on my first attempt, so... Jesus, I feel like I need some more endurance. Ow, fuck! Dick. I still gotta, I gotta go back and count how many times it took me to kill the Abyss Watchers. So, I don't know that. I don't know that off the top of my head. I think we need to, oh my gosh! Wrecked, idiot. Look at that arrow. Just how long? Look at how long that fucking arrow is. Just sticking out of my goddamn face. Oh, it just despawned. There's an ambush up here, if I'm right. Is there like a pressure plate or something? I think. It's like a pressure plate down here. This is where I died last time I went to the cathedral. I know there's a pressure plate somewhere. I heard some fucking bones moving. Yes, that would be the trap. Come on. Oh no, that wasn't the trap, that was just him throwing knives at me. out on stamina. Ooh, backstab. Maybe I'm just kind of playing like an idiot. Ah, it looks like I... Hold on, let me, let me get full stamina up again. One, two, three, five. Okay, so I'm just imagining things. No legitimate stamina loss. Could it be an illusionary wall? Oh, it is. I really need to work on parrying. Holy fuck, I forgot about that. As, uh... We get later into the... As we get later into the game, the ability to parry is gonna be fucking huge. Uh... It's like Pontiff Sullivan and Gundyr. Champion Gundyr. You basically need to parry if you want to survive the fight. Huh. It looks like you can probably jump from there. I'm not going to, though. Let me tell you. How did I lose that much health? Oh, it must have been from the... Seriously, how did I lose that much health? I didn't feel like it took that much damage against that uh, the one guy with the scimitars. What do I know, though? I guess I wasn't paying attention. a neat trick where you go invisible. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I guess since I've been, like, running out of stamina, that could cause me to take a lot more damage. I 
I've been very dumb with how I've been managing my stamina this session so far.